This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we will be starting our next topic that is serial numbers. Okay, so the, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see working with serial numbers, purpose of creation of serial numbers, stock check, okay, the creation of serial numbers in the system, and then we will see customizing of serial number profile. Okay, we will see the configuration part also. Okay, so first we will start with introduction to serial numbers. We will understand what is serial number, why it is used. Okay, assigning a serial number to a piece of equipment enables the equipment to be managed from an inventory management perspective. Suppose let's say you want to see the inventory stock of equipments then you should uh, maintain serial numbers for that equipment okay and to make the serial number uh, assign the serial number you need a material okay enter a material that has all that already has serial number profile for the serialization of individual pieces of equipment in the equipment master record so that means to maintain the serial numbers for a equipment you have to first create it as a material and that material should have the serial number profile serial number okay when you assign a serial number in the equipment master record the equipment is linked with the material and serial number okay so the moment you assign a serial number there will be a linking with material also i will show you this in the system okay material coupled with the equipment with the material in the construction type field of the equipment this i can show you so yesterday we posted some stocks okay so that time we created equipments in the background if you see here the first one i i created manually but these two are got generated uh, uh, this one got uh, this one i have created manually okay but these two got generated automatically so suppose if i go to this one middle one you see here if you go to structure you see there is a field called construction type construction type field is nothing but material code of the equipment okay now how many uh, diesel generators are there totally three one two three so now for this you can check the stock because it is already created as a material suppose if i go <clears throat> mmp enter the material code this is a material code plant 1710 okay execute you see stock is three we have a stock of three and if you if you right click if you go to equipment serial number you can see see these are the material codes material code is of course same these are the unique serial number and here you can add the equipment number in the report you can add the equipment 20 see this is the equipment numbers okay now to see the serial number in the i'll go to equipment master if you go to equipment master if i go to structure sorry not structure you go to serialization data you see here this is a material number and this is the serial number okay so like this you can assign the serial number to the equipment now what we will do we will create a serial number first and then activate the equipment that we will do okay so <clears throat> material coupled with the equipment with the material in the construction type field of the equipment that i already showed so construction type field in the equipment master is nothing but its material code okay serialization thus enables inventory management of pieces of equipment so so main use of using serialization is to manage the inventory and also to assign a unique number to each equipment so this is the one you see here there is a material there is a material with stock four pieces so for each stock each piece you assign a unique serial number and at the same time it will have the from cs perspective it will have an equipment number so combination of material serial number and equipment number this is unique number. okay so combination of equipment plus material code serial plus serial number this is unique serial number this is unique 
so that is the one we need to understand okay so now let's go ahead this is the one we are talking about so serial number you can enter in the equipment master record in the serialization data tab where you can enter the material and serial number code serial number in the in the this tab serialization data tab okay let me show you again so i am in the equipment master this is my equipment in the equipment in the serialization data tab in the tab in that view in the tab you can see the material number and its serial number this you can see okay and i'll come to this history also in a minute i'll come to this history also in a minute okay so now let's create the uh, serial numbers manually okay so to create a serial number manually i will use a transaction the transaction code is iq01 create material and serial number this is the t code to create manually serial number first and from there we will activate the equipment view okay so enter the material enter the serial number so as of now we already used one zero so what is the serial numbers we used so far do we have the serial number here serial number oh, okay we have serial number okay so already we this is a different material equipment you just leave it so these three already serial number 1003 is used so let's use next one 1004 okay and i want to create service category service customer equipment enter so this is how you create a <coughs> Uh, what do you call serial number manually okay so what you do you enter stock type 01 plant plant is 1710 and the storage location is 171 so this is how you create a you create a serial number manually manually iq01 okay you can enter the customer data but customer data we will enter later because we are still it is in our plant only we are not selling it to outside not yet sold outside to the customer so this is how you create a material and serial number so let me save this first okay and it should create a equipment should create save okay so serial number created now if you go to change if you go to change so equipment is not yet created now we will active will create the equipment so from this screen you can create a equipment so to create equipment you see here there is a button activate equipment view click on it okay so now it will create a equipment see it is creating an equipment okay so now you have to activate see now all the tabs have come previously there was only one tab only two tabs now all the remaining tabs have come so now you just maintain the data object type diesel generator we give the dates location okay go to organization you give normal method of uh, equipment creation you can give the cost center all those stuff okay done structure we will discuss tomorrow and you see construction type field automatically getting populated here this is nothing but material this one and here if you go to serialization data tab both will be same here it is not there but the, there is nothing but the material code okay then you see then you see it so now equipment got created so now if you go to equipment master what was the equipment let me go to this place what was the equipment this is equipment right now i'll go to equipment master ie03 ie03 okay this is a equipment enter c it is created with customer equipment category and if you go to structure this is the construction type nothing but material code and if you go to serialization data tab you see this is a material code and this is the serial number serial number and if you go to history if you click on that as of now there is no history because we have not yet posted into the stock okay this is created manually the serial number okay now this we created it manually this equipment but i want to 
make this in the inventory so as of now if you see in the inventory it is showing only three 